At a traveler wedding, the bride gets to be a princess for one day. But behind the petticoats and permatans lies a very different story. I think the traveler gales were definitely second class citizens. You know, they're very vocal, the gales. They'll say things and, you know, they do have quite a lot to say, but when it comes down to the nissy grissy, they're, you know, they're kept in their place, really. On a small caravan site in Surrey, 18-year-old Irish traveller Lizzie, who's getting married next week, knows only too well that a woman's work is never done. As the eldest unmarried daughter in her family, her daily routine is relentless. Yes, Simon. She's responsible for cooking, cleaning, and looking after her four younger siblings. Get up, get the children ready for school, give them breakfast and whatever. Then kick them off, clean up, and then by the time you've got that done, they'll be back from school and then you have to make their food and clean up after that and put them to bed. And that'll all be done for like half seven, eight o'clock. Then you probably go for a sunbed or go and have a bath and then like go to bed. That's every single day. If I want to go to the shop, I've got to go, Mummy, is it OK if I just go to the shop for a minute? Where boys can just jump in the motor and go, there's no answering to anybody. Do you think you get more freedom once you're married? No, not really. Because now if, if, I don't, if I'm not able to wash up, I'll say, Mummy, I really don't feel well, I don't want to do it. She'll, she'll do it or she'll get Margaret to do it. Where you're married, you can't ask him to wash up. You've got to get up and do it or you can't leave it there. And you'll have to answer to your husband the same way you answer to your Mummy and Daddy. Like, you'll still have to ask him, is it OK if I go here and there? I can't imagine myself wearing it. <laughs> I really can. Lovely. With her big day looming, Lizzie is helping her sister Susie fix her bridesmaid's dress. Ooh. Why are you so dopey? Because I know your sister is. Get the arm away! Cut it off! The closer it gets, the more nervous you are. Because when I first got asked for it, it was all exciting and lovely, and then when it was getting, I wasn't one bit nervous then. And now that it's getting closer, I am. Um, She's nervous. No, really, really Don't nervous. Because I wanted it to be like the most perfect day ever. The biggest day of my life, it will be be wedding day. At 18, Lizzie's an old bride by traveller standards. Last month, little sister Susie got married when she was just 16. Hey, Mary, it's not sunshine and roses. When you want to get up and go somewhere, you can't just get up and go. If you want to go to parties and weddings and nightclubs or whatever you want to do, you just can't get up and go, do you know what I mean? Unless he's going with you. And then maybe sometimes they don't want to go, and you probably really want to go, but you can't. If I knew any other guy that was getting married at the age of 16, do you know, if they were marrying Prince Charming, I would still recommend for them not to get married. Because when you're 16, you're still only like a baby. I'm still only a baby and I'm married. Do you think you're ready to get married? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm ready to get married. It's like your life has completely changed. Not for the worse or for the better, it's just changed. So... I reckon I'll be okay though. <laughs> I'm not going to be on nerve pills next year, all on, all edgy and shaky. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Who in their right mind will put white nets in a cream trailer? Needs cream nets. It's the day before 18 year old Lizzie's wedding, and she's already cleaning her marital caravan. Her training for the role of housewife began at a young age. I think I was about 11 or 12 when I left school. I know that is hard for you to understand, but there really, there is no need for the teachers to keep coming. You need to go to school, you need to go to school, because you need to go to school, because we ain't going to be doctors or lawyers or anything. Housewives, that's what we're going to be. Can you read and write? A little bit. Like, I can read, but I don't know. 
if I take my time, I can do it properly. But if, if I'm trying to do it like, really quickly because it's important, I can't. I wouldn't say I'm bad, like I'm terrible, but I'm okay. And I think that's just enough for travelling guides to know how, what to do when reading and writing. It's just to understand stuff. Like, if you have a doctor's appointment, as long as you can understand, like, Tuesday the 2nd of whatever and at such a time. It's like, just things like that. Lizzie's wedding marks a huge change in the life of her 13-year-old sister, Margaret. She's been removed from school to take over Lizzie's duties. From now on, she will help look after her three younger siblings and clean for several hours a day. I am excited for her to get married, but for me to stay here all by myself and do all the cleaning is going to be really upsetting because I'd be really bad in a really big mood doing all the cleaning all by myself. Are you good at cleaning? Yeah, and no. Um, today, I was wiping out underneath the bunks and I was put down underneath the bunk with bleach in the bucket and I was rinsing out the cloth and about a half an hour late my thumb went orange. It's my first time really stripping out a trailer. So that's how I made the mistake. Many traveller girls are removed from school early, not only to help at home, but to prevent them from being corrupted by outside influences. Dressmaker Thelma has watched a generation of gypsies and travellers grow up and seen hundreds of children leave school. It's usually just after they've started secondary school, so it's like 12, 13, it's usually then and then, then they leave. It is illegal to leave school at that age, but they move around that much that there's probably they can't keep records like they do on um, children who were, you know, living in the same area. They're, and as a lot of them from Ireland, so they actually say that they've, you know, either gone back to Ireland or gone to live with a relative in, in such and such a place. So there's, there's ways around it where, where we wouldn't get away with it, but they do because they do travel around. In Surrey, 18-year-old Lizzie has finally made it down the aisle wearing a crystal-covered gown. Come on, for the photographs! Her new husband is worried that revealing he's a traveller will impact on his scrap metal collecting business, so he's asked not to be identified on television. Hi, right, Lizzie, Lizzie, slow down. Please, Lizzie, I'm begging. Go and get my daddy in this motor now! Disneyland Castle, and I can't believe me bride and ginger. I specifically said I wanted a ginger bride. Lizzie's cousins Martin, Tom, and Davy are allowed to drink as much alcohol as they like. Boys now, you can go to and get drunk, have a good time, do you know what I mean? But girls can't, do you know what I mean? They have to go to and stay sober the whole night, do you know what I mean? Like, really, a boy can drink like any age at all, do you know what I mean? Like 12 upwards, 11 upwards, do you know what I mean? But girls, they can't, do you know what I mean? I don't know why, it's just like, just, they can't drink at all, do you know what I mean? What age upwards? What? <laughs> you started a bit earlier, didn't you? Yeah, 11 upwards. Yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> Is it fair that boys are allowed to drink and girls aren't allowed to drink? I think it is fair, yeah. I reckon it is fair, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For Lizzie's younger sister, Margaret, today has enormous significance. I started crying and then everybody just kept saying stop crying so I said all right then but I just kept threatening so that's what was making you cry the point of me older sister leaving me 
and I'm going to be left alone and I'll be after videoing everything. Cooking breakfast and cleaning and dressing children for school and doing all that, I couldn't be able. So it'd be really hard for me to do all of the things that she had to do. As the evening draws to an end, it's time for Lizzie to begin life with her husband. No, no, Jim, just finished this one. Come on. But I'm coming in now in a minute. And, um. What was the question? Johnny, I'll come in in a minute. Please go away. What was the question again? Are you happy? <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy. Most of the time. Now a gypsy housewife, Lizzie has her very own caravan to look after. This is me and Johnny's trailer. In a house, this would be called the living room. But it's not. This is just the back end of the trailer. <laughs> but it is the social living room. And this is in a house that would be called the dining room, where in the trailer it's called the dinette. Uh, this is the kitchen, fridge here, hidden in the cupboard. This is the bedroom, and this is a shower cupboard, which in a house would be called a bathroom, which is full of washing, ironing board, ironer, oh shit, really. Back here on the bed. As Lizzie settles into her marital home, Margaret's already struggling with her new role as chief housekeeper. Oh my God, put that in the little bag. 